now know the 27 names that Cameroon will be using to face Algeria. It's getting closer, it's getting realer. Hello and welcome back to a, another video on my channel. We did a video I think last week about Cameroon's sort of big preliminary 44-man squad. Um, actually a few countries have done this, even Algeria have actually done a big preliminary squad, but they haven't like made it public. The players know, but publicly we don't know. Now that Algeria squad announcement, the final 25-26 players, rumoured to be coming out on Friday. Um, so if that is true, not that long to go. But in terms of our opponents, Rigobert Song, his first final Cameroon squad is for these World Cup qualifiers, home and away against Algeria. We've got 27 names, I think. They've cut it down quite a bit. They've also left out quite a few sort of big names that have been regulars in the Cameroon team in recent years. So we're going to dive into it. We've got the three goalkeepers. Um, well, the goalkeepers don't really matter. We know that Andre Onana, the Ajax goalkeeper, just gone out of the Champions League to Benfica. That's also good for us. Onana's going to be in goal, back up with Epassi and Amasola. So, Ondoa's out of the squad. Onana is going to be the number one goalkeeper, if fit, which he is at the moment. Good goalkeeper. And you have to say, we're going to have to be quite clinical with our chances against a keeper like him. Because it's probably one of Cameroon's strongest areas. And Onana has been linked with a lot of the big clubs around Europe, including Inter. So, we, we kind of knew what the goalkeeper situation was going to be anyway. Defenders... Um, the lad that was brought in from Galatasaray, he, he's not actually in the final squad. But, you know, you've got your, your likes of your Collins, Fry, Ngardu, uh, Michael Ngardu, good defender, very good defender, um, experience in some of the lower European top tier leagues. So, I like Michael Ngardu, I think he's a good defender. I think Collins, Fry is very good. I think they're the two that I'm sort of worried about the most. Again, they were trying to get Joel Matip back involved. Joel Matip isn't here. They've got Olivier Mbaizo, Castelletto, who plays in Liga. Castelletto's a a regular in French football. They've got a Yongo who plays in Montpellier. They've got Nuhu. They've got Makudi again, another one in, in Ligo with Saint Etienne with Boudabou's playing regularly together. And they've got Chamba as well. So defensively, what, what we have to do looking at this squad is work out is Song going to still use that sort of free at the back system? And, and where is he going to play Hongla? Is Hongla going to play in the middle? Like, we, we don't know what system he's going to play. It, it's quite sneaky from Cameroon to change manager because we've watched, the, we've watched seven games at AFCON with them at home, with sort of three at the back, and then now they might change it. So we don't know what players fit into that system. Midfield, we've got uh, Onana Jr., we've got Kunde, we've got Zambo and Gisa, very good midfielder Zambo and Gisa. We've got Ungue, we've got Hongla, who I just spoke about. Hongla's very good, got I think three or four assists at AFCON. I like Hongla. He's in Italian football with Hellas Verona. Keep an eye on him. Olivier and Cham. This guy was going to be a big, big future star for French football. He's now playing for Cameroon. He's at Swansea at the moment. I remember him at the academy at Manchester City. I think he went to Marseille. Didn't work out. Still at Swansea. And Cham, good player. Probably will make his debut against Algeria so that he can't go and play for another country. So and Cham is in. Fuchs and Gael Ondoa is in the squad as well. For me, the biggest talking point of Cameroon is their attacking options and who they've left out. Clinton and G is not here. You won't see his name. You've got Bassagog, player of the tournament at AFCON 2017, left out. Big call by Song. These calls are going to backfire if Cameroon don't make it. Well, I hope they don't make it. So and G, Bassagog, Bahakan, Lee Saliki. There's a lot of players here they haven't chose to go with, and it could come back to bite them. I think not taking Bassagog's huge. Particularly with not just his quality, but his experience. I think, you know, and G off the bench. Interesting decisions, but he is the manager. We've got Gennago. Chupamoting is here. He's had a lot of off-the-field issues. But, you know, Chupamoting is... Well, how has he been at PSG and, and Bayern? Wasn't he at Stoke? Anyway, I rate him. Um, I rate him for coming to play for Cameroon as well. You know, when you've got a Bayern attacker, it does look scary on the sheet. Whether or not Chupamoting starts, we'll see. Carl Togwe Kambe. Played with Slomani at Lyon, a player Slomani will know well. Toko Akambe, also a player that Ben Lamry will know very well from playing with him at Lyon. He's in this squad. And Gamalu's here. Abubakar, who played against Rice and Bolhi the other day, 
He's in this squad, Abubakar, top scorer at AFCON. He is the danger man. And then we've got Wasu, Sonny, and Tawamba, who plays in the Middle East. So that's the Cameroon squad. Overall, and this could get clipped up and come back to bite me, I'm not scared of this squad. I thought a Joel Matic would have been here. I thought a Makoka would have been here. I thought an Embuemo or an Alanga would have been here. Hasn't happened. They've got an Uncham, and then they've left out in G and Basagog and Bakken and, and Lee Saliki and all these players. I'm not that worried. I'm more worried about off the field issues, refereeing decisions, playing surfaces, um, VAR. That's my main concern when it comes to this fixture because I know how good our players are. This is going to look really bad if we go out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that is the Cameroon list. We await the Algeria list, hopefully on Friday, inshallah, that's going to drop. You know, get down to Juma, do your prayers, and then probably the squad's going to come out. But anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. What do you think? Are you scared of Cameroon? Or am I getting a bit cocky? But thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.